the XTAG Gastrointestinal Pathogen Panel, or GPP Chemistry, incorporates a multiplex reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction with Luminex's proprietary universal tag sorting system. In this four-stage process, the nucleic acid is extracted from the specimen and multiplexed in an RT-PCR reaction. It then goes through a bead hybridization where the reporter dye molecule is added so that the instrument can acquire the results. The process takes less than five hours for 24 samples with total hands-on time of about one hour. GPP requires pre-treatment of the sample before the extraction. The pretreatment is used to ensure maximum nucleic acid extraction efficacy by improving pathogen lysis. The pretreatment step is particularly important for the parasitic targets. Use the recommended methods to extract the nucleic acid and elute the purified product in 70 microliters of elution buffer. Target-specific RT-PCR is used so that only the targets of interest are amplified if present. In this step, the primers are used to incorporate the tag sequence and the biotin on the targets of interest during the amplification. This process starts with denaturing or separating the sample DNA strands at high temperatures. Once the DNA strand is separated, a tagged primer locates the target of interest and anneals. With the aid of the enzyme, nucleotides are incorporated to complete the strand. This newly formed strand now serves as a template for the next cycle and is denatured. This allows the biotinylated primer to anneal to its complement, and again, with the aid of the enzyme, nucleotides are incorporated to complete the strand. This results in a tagged and biotinylated PCR product. At the end of the multiplex RT-PCR reaction, only the DNA with the target of interest present has been amplified. Hybridization of the multiplex RT-PCR amplicons to the GPP beads and SAPE reporter is performed simultaneously in one reaction. In this stage, the tagged PCR product attaches to the appropriate bead and the SAPE attaches to the biotin. The SAPE addition will enable the detection on the Luminex analyzer. The hybridized sample is read on either the Luminex 100 or 200 instrument. The red light source identifies the bead and therefore the universal anti-tag on its surface, while the green light source quantifies the fluorescent reporter representing the specific hybridization events. Finally, the data is analyzed in the TDAS software. 